Welcome, my name is Tim, and in this short video, I'm going to guide you through the proper process for diagnosing low gas pressure on the gas furnace. Now to begin with, we need to turn the thermostat to call for heat. Click on the selector switch here, which will not only turn the selector switch to the heat position, but it'll also turn up the room temperature setting. Next, click OK on the procedure guide and refer to this after each step. Our next step is to remove the cover from the furnace and see which loads are operating. But when we do this, this door switch located right here on the right is going to open its contacts and break power to the furnace. So it's going to be necessary to tape this door switch in. So simply click on this piece of tape up here and that will place it over the door switch ensuring its contacts are closed and that power is being received at the furnace. Click OK. And next we want to look at the inducer. That's the first load that's going to come on in a normal sequence of operations and that is running so we can click yes. Next, it may be necessary to reboot or restart the system so that you can observe one full cycle of operation in the normal sequence. So click on the service switch, which will just turn it off and back on. Click reboot. Once we do this, click OK and be ready to see what comes on. Well, to start with, the igniter glows. We can see the glow from the igniter. This will glow at around 2600 degrees or so, so it's going to be obvious if it's working or not. So we're going to click yes. Next, the burners. Well, the burners do in fact light off. We can see we have burner ignition, so we're going to click yes. Next, we want to verify if the burners continuously run. In other words, if we have an issue with a safety switch or a flame proving problem, the burners may light off, but then shortly thereafter, they'll shut right off and they may cycle like this for a few times. But as we can see, the burners appear to stay on continuous, so we're going to click yes. Next, we're going to most likely have an issue with either fuel input here or a possible restriction in the airflow. Um, but before we actually measure gas pressure, click on this bottom right icon and we're going to teleport ourselves to the indoor fan motor just to make sure that the indoor fan motor is actually running. And if you look on the menu here, you'll be able to locate the indoor fan motor here. Uh, just click on the indoor unit. Uh, we're going to slide the manometer out of the way. And if we look down here at the bottom, we can zoom in a little bit. We can see that, yes, the indoor fan motor is running. So electrically, the entire system is okay. Our next step is to check fuel input. So we're going to click on this little teleport icon and we're going to go back and we're going to take out the digital gas manometer and we're going to measure the gas pressure in inches of water column at the manifold or burner side of the gas valve. Now this should be three and a half inches of water column. So we're going to drop our manometer here and when we do this we only have two inches of water column which is unusually low. Again, it's pretty standard on natural gas appliances to have three and a half inches of water column here on the manifold side or burner side of the gas valve. Um, so do we have three and a half? Well, no, we don't. Our next step is to check the gas pressure coming in from the main service or from the utility company. Now this should be a minimum of five inches of water column here. Okay, so we're gonna drop the manometer probe and we're going to install it in the main side of the gas valve here and we see we only have two inches of water column coming in here so we have an issue here with the main gas service we should have had a minimum of five here now you could evaluate the gas pipe sizing on a new installation but overall this generally means you're going to need to contact the utility company to see what's going on with the main gas pressure so after we click no on the procedure guide that we don't have a minimum of five inches, we're going to click on the gas valve. Now we're not replacing the gas valve here. There's nothing wrong with the gas valve. But on the menu, we're going to say call utility company and they'll come out and solve the problem for you so that you have that acceptable gas pressure coming in. Click OK on the menu and that's going to solve the problem. Now don't forget to observe one full cycle of operation to ensure that everything else is working properly and also go up to the residence and just verify that heat is being received at the residence and we can see from the floor register here and this red graphic that we do in fact have heat coming into the residence. Now if you want to review any of the steps that we just took click on this top left icon and you'll be able to review each of the steps in the procedure. Good luck on all your future service calls, and I'll see you back here soon. Thanks for watching. Do you want to try 3D simulations and VR HVAC training yourself? Then visit interplaylearning.com to start a free trial today.